Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. This is Upschool Book Reviews. My name is Graham Brown. If you like these book reviews, then go and check out my free course containing five of my top picks for books for entrepreneurs that'll help you grow your business in 2017, 2018 and beyond. Go and check out upschoolbookreviews.com slash course. So today I want to share the key message from Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. The story of the Spanish village. There's a Spanish village high on the plains that has run out of water. So the elders gather the men and tell them that if they do not solve the water problem, the infirm will die, the young will flee to the big cities and the village will perish. Two men step forward to the challenge and volunteer a solution. The elders gather all the gold in the village and divide it equally between the two men. They wish them good luck and the men disappear. The next day, the first man wakes early in the morning and uses the gold to buy picks and shovels and recruit some outside labour. They go about digging a deeper well than before by going lower into the water table down into the hill. The work is backbreaking in the hot Spanish sun and the men are very tired from both digging and lugging huge buckets of water up the hill to the village. The elders are concerned, however, because they believe the second man has run off with their money to the big city. They're concerned because soon the first man is going to run out of money to keep the digging going and they could have used the other half to extend the project. And soon the diggers run out of money and there is no more gold to pay the bucket carriers. The village runs out of water. A few days later, the thirsty villagers awake to the strange rumbling sound outside the village. They exit their houses to see a small convoy of trucks and machines rolling up the hill. A digger, a cement mixer at the helm, the second man who disappeared days ago. The convoy gets to work building a cement pipeline that carries the water across the valley to the village. When they complete the pipeline, the convoy decamps and leaves the village, leaving them with a never-ending supply of water. The parable of the Spanish village tells us that we have a choice. Build pipelines or carry buckets. Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki is one of the most well-known self-development books in print. A lot of people know it, but what actually are the lessons that Kiyosaki teaches us in this book? I first read Rich Dad, Poor Dad when I was starting out on the journey of becoming an entrepreneur well over 20 years ago. And of all the many books that I've read in that time, this book has been among the most influential on my own life. Rich Dad, Poor Dad is a an apocryphal autobiography of Robert Kiyosaki growing up in Hawaii under the guidance of his rich dad, who was actually the the dad of his friend Mike, and his poor dad, his real biological father. The key lesson that Kiyosaki teaches us is the difference in worldviews of the two dads. His real poor dad was a successful university lecturer. He had a stable job for life with benefits, He was educated with impressive qualifications. He sought stability and comfort, never taking risks, yet he spent his life bouncing from paycheck to paycheck. He was never able to call himself financially free. Mike's father, or Rich Dad, was different. He was an entrepreneur. Rich Dad took risks with his money, invested in real estate and owned businesses. Despite having few official qualifications or little in the way of formal education, Rich Dad was wealthy and financially independent. Kiyosaki's story reflects the two lifestyle options available to us. Carry buckets like Poor Dad or build pipelines like Rich Dad. On the one hand, you can work hard at school, get good grades, get a good job and work your way up the ladder until you retire. That's carrying buckets. You'll only earn as many as hours you have in the day. Or you can go out and create your opportunities by starting your own business. You can create wealth through leverage. The key difference in worldview is how we think about money. The traditional middle class view of money as embodied in poor dad is that money comes from your salary. You should try to save money. Your biggest investment is in your own home. 
By contrast, Rich Dad's worldview says salaries and your own home aren't long-term money generators. Rich Dad is focused on building and owning assets. Assets being things that produce income. That's why your own home isn't an investment. It doesn't produce you income. Financial IQ. This is financial education and it's what Rich Dad Poor Dad is all about. The reason why rich families stay rich isn't so much the transfer of wealth or the opportunity to successive generations, but what the parents teach their kids about money. Schools don't teach us about money. The system doesn't teach us about money. Sure enough, they're happy to lend money and give us credit cards, but how many people actually know what they're paying on that borrowed money? The system actually benefits from us having a low financial IQ. Consider the example I pointed out in Tony Robbins' Unshakable book review recently that 72% of people thought they were paying no charges on their retirement fund when the, actually the average person was paying $277,000 in fees over its lifetime. Sure, somebody is benefiting here and it's not the average person. Consider also that the average person, as taught by poor dad, believes that debt is bad. Yet, rich dad will teach you that there is a big difference between good debt and bad debt. Once you understand this principle, you have the means to create wealth. Good debt allows you to buy assets that produce income for you. Good debt is actually paid back by someone else, as in the case of buying a real estate property and renting it out to a tenant. If the numbers stack, this is good debt, and it's a long-term wealth generation vehicle. Most poor dads will balk at the idea it's too risky, too unjust, too etc. They'll point out that real estate values go up and down, yet they will be working for the rest of their lives to pay the bills. And when they retire, poor dad will also be the first to complain about an underperforming pension fund. It's fashionable these days to knock rich dad, poor dad. Sure, it doesn't go into specifics. It doesn't spell out the seven steps or the exact knowledge you'll need to become financially free. There are books that do that. But I believe that first, you need to improve your financial IQ. Rich Dad, Poor Dad was written over 20 years ago at a time when its message, build pipelines rather than carry buckets, was new. People still valued long-term careers and jobs for life back then. Sure, things are changing, but people aren't. Building pipelines is risky, and it means stepping outside your comfort zone. That's why I believe a lot of people read this book and don't do anything about their financial situation. They go back to what they know, what's comfortable, carrying buckets. As Warren Buffett, the legendary investor, once wrote, if you don't learn how to make money while you sleep, you'll be working until you die. <laughs>